Hello and welcome to Top Select 10. Get ready for an adrenaline pumping ride with our countdown of the top 10 best action movies on Netflix to watch right now. If you're in the mood for high octane thrills, explosive stunts, and jaw dropping fight scenes, this video has you covered. We've carefully selected the most intense and exciting action films currently streaming on Netflix. Whether you're a fan of epic car chases, larger than life heroes, or relentless shootouts, these movies deliver non-stop excitement and entertainment. From blockbuster hits to hidden gems, join us as we dive into the most thrilling action flicks Netflix has to offer. Each movie on our list promises to keep you on the edge of your seat with heart-pounding moments and unforgettable action sequences. So grab your popcorn, buckle up, and get ready for an action-packed adventure. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more top 10 lists and movie recommendations. Number 10. Pascal. Pascal. The movie is a Malaysian military action film. Lieutenant Commander Arman Anwar is a Tentralout Daraja Malaysia Special Force Pascal operative, one with an illustrious service history. Having lost Arman's father to the same cause, his mother has always been bitter about Arman's choices and predicament. In one of his dangerous mission, one of his teammates died and another one was dismissed. Just when Arman decided to ask for transfer, he is needed for one last mission that would change his world forever. This is a movie that from a military point of view is very, very well done. Yes, some of the characters are a bit wooden and the general characterization was not exactly great, but the film is clearly intended as a propaganda recruiting piece, so the cheesiness of that part is really no surprise. Number 9. Return of Xander Cage Return of Xander Cage is an American action thriller film directed by DJ Caruso and written by F. Scott Frazier. The third installment in the XXX film series and a sequel to both XXX 2002 and XXX, State of the Union 2005. NSA agent Augustus Gibbons attempts to recruit footballer Neymar for the XXX program when a satellite crashes in Brazil, apparently killing them both. Shortly afterwards, a team of four skilled individuals led by Zhang infiltrate a highly guarded CIA office in New York City and retrieve Pandora's box, a device which is capable of controlling satellites to crash at specific locations as warheads. CIA agent Jane Mark tracks down former XXX operative Xander Cage, who faked his death and has been living in self-imposed exile in the Dominican Republic, and convinces him to return to active service to retrieve the device. Number 8. Outlaw King Outlaw King is a historical action drama film about 14th century Scottish King Robert the Bruce during the Scottish Wars of Independence. The film largely takes place during the three-year period from 1304, when Bruce decides to rebel against the rule of Edward I over Scotland, up to 1307 Battle of Loudoun Hill. Outlaw King was co-written, produced, and directed by David Mackenzie. After being declared outlaw by the occupying English Empire, Robert the Bruce raises an army of Scottish fighters in rebellion. Twists and turns all across the Scottish countryside lead this film on an epic, true to historical events, journey that captures heroism at its core. The film received mixed reviews from critics, with praise for its production design, sets, performances, and choreography, but criticism for its historical inaccuracies and cliches. Number 7. The Equalizer 3 The Equalizer 3 is an American vigilante action thriller film. It is a sequel to The Equalizer 2 and the third and final installment of The Equalizer trilogy, based on the television series of the same name. Since giving up his life as a government assassin, Robert McCall has struggled to reconcile the horrific things he's done in the past and finds a strange solace in serving justice on behalf of the oppressed. Finding himself surprisingly at home in southern Italy, he discovers his new friends are under the control of local crime bosses. As events turn deadly, McCall knows what he has to do, become his friend's protector by taking on the Mafia. The Equalizer 3 was released in the United States on September 1, 2023 by Sony Pictures releasing. The film received generally positive reviews from critics. Number 6. The Foreigner The Foreigner is an action thriller film. Min Quan runs a Chinese restaurant in London with his business partner Lam. When his teenage daughter Fan is killed in a clothing store bombing, he seeks revenge. The bombing is claimed by a group calling itself the Authentic Era. Failing to get the names of the bombers from Scotland Yard, Quan next focuses on the Northern Ireland Deputy First Minister Liam Hennessy who speaks publicly about his status as a former era leader while condemning the bombing. Quan eventually leaves for Belfast and seeks out Hennessy, who claims to have no knowledge of the bombing or its perpetrators. 
Quan does not believe him and sets off a homemade bomb in Hennessy's office as a threat unless he gets the bomber's names. The film grossed $145 million at the worldwide box office and was one of 2018's top 10 most watched Netflix original films in the UK. Number 5. World War Z World War Z is an American action horror film. Having retired as uninvestigator, Jerry Lane devotes his time to wife Karen and their whining brat daughter Constance and Rachel in Philadelphia until it becomes the next site of a globally spreading mystery epidemic turning bitten people into rabies like zombies. His clueless former chief, Deputy Secretary General Thierry Yumutoni, recalls him to the unemergency team, thus offering the whole family a spot aboard the safe air carrier. Jerry joins the army veterans on reconnaissance to Korea, where a rogue CIA agent's suggestion proves worthless, then to Israel, where a Mossad Contrarieu's 10th man had the foresight to respond to a vague Indian pandemic threat by erecting a wall Jerusalem, only to see an undead flood overtake it. His last-minute escape flight must deal drastically with an infected passenger before crashing in Cardiff, near a WHO research facility, where he combines and tests a daring out-of-the-box camouflage strategy inspired by Weir observations. Number 4. Hellboy 2. The Golden Army Hellboy 2. The Golden Army is an American superhero film, based on the Dark Horse comics character of the same name, created by Mike Mignola. After saving the world in Hellboy, humankind's strange protector Hellboy now struggles to cope with a challenging reality. And as if that weren't enough, the emergence of elven prince Nuada only spells trouble. Now, the powerful being is bent on retrieving the fragments of a mystical crown that commands the indestructible Golden Army an omnipotent legion of clockwork warriors designed to seek and destroy humans. Before this unstoppable new menace, all hope rests on Hellboy and his squad of supernatural defenders. But they are no match for Nuada's invincible forces, as Hellboy and his justice team bitten off more than they could chew. Number 3. Mosul Between 2014 and 2017, ISIS occupied the Iraqi city of Mosul. During those years, the only group to fight the occupiers continuously was Nineveh Province's SWAT unit, made up of local men who had either been injured or had a family member killed by ISIS Carnahan's Mosul is a gripping tribute to these fighters for whom the incentives were intensely personal. Kawa, a 21-year-old police officer, barely survives a firefight. When the smoke clears, he meets the men who saved his life, the Nineveh SWAT, led by Jason. Kawa's own uncle was recently killed by ISIS, he joins the group. Though they've been reduced to just a dozen men with three Humvees and a surplus of cigarettes. Before his first day with Nineveh SWAT is over, Kawa will witness the rescue of a child and the death of several colleagues, take revenge on a man who betrayed him, and participate in the ambush of an ISIS stronghold. Conahan drops us right in the center of urban warfare, but also allows for telling moments that reveal the men beyond their combat roles. A rare American film designed to bring Iraqi perspectives forward, Mosul is both muscular and humane. Number 2. Unbroken Tale of Louis Zamperini, the Olympic track star who survived a plane crash in World War II, only to fight for his life against nature and eventually as a prisoner of war. Joel and Ethan Cohen provide the script. Louis grows up a rough hue kid on the verge of becoming a full-on delinquent, until his brother starts training him to be a track star. Louis excels at the sport and eventually represents America at the 1936 Summer Olympics in Berlin. During his training, he learns to become resilient and disciplined. His brother's words of advice, if you can take it, you can make it, push him to overcome any adversity. He must live up to that adage under the most extreme circumstances after his plane is shot down during another bombing raid. He is stranded at sea for more than a month, only to be found by the Japanese and forced to endure constant physical abuse at the hands of sadistic prison camp guard Matsuhiro Watanabe, who wants to break Louis' indomitable spirit. Number 1. Godzilla Minus One Godzilla Minus One is a 2023 Japanese epic kaiju film written, directed, and with visual effects by Takashi Yamazaki. Produced by Toho Studios and Robot Communications and distributed by Toho, it is the 37th film in the Godzilla franchise. Haunted by the horrors of World War II, guilt-ridden kamikaze pilot Koichi returns home to find a decimated Tokyo. Now branded a coward, Koichi tries to find his feet, but another destructive challenge awaits him and the country. With the fragile newfound peace hanging by a thread, Koichi has one last chance to right a wrong and clear his name before an unstoppable atomic monstrosity makes it to Jinza. But the mutated behemoth is indestructible. Can a gutless mortal defy Godzilla, the king of monsters? 
If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, like and share the video. Thank you.